boardrooms of top British-based companies should be at least one quarter female by 2015, according to a new report commissioned by the government. Its author, the former trade minister, Lord Davis of Abbasot, says that F FTSE 100 companies should set targets for promoting women to top jobs. But as our business correspondent Siobhan Kennedy now reports, he stopped short of calling for quotas. The hallowed doors of the corporate boardroom. Men seem able to prize them open, but just how hard is it for women to get a seat at the table? No one would be surprised to hear that there are more senior men than women here in the heart of London's financial district. But it turns out the problem is much more widespread than that. Across Britain's top 350 companies, less than 8% of board members are female. Round of applause. Go on, you know. The government's chosen this man, Lord Davies, to come up with a plan. This is a huge priority for business. It's got the Commission's be work began last August and the conclusions were announced today. To try and crack the problem from here on in, for every four board members, one will have to be a woman. The worry is, though, that these are only aspirational targets. They're not mandatory quotas. Do you not think this is a missed opportunity to have been much tougher, given how dire the numbers are? If chairmen have to lay out their aspirations for 2013 and 2015, but also the CEOs for their exec committee, we believe that's a much better route, almost self-regulation, than quotas. Lord Davies says there's evidence too that businesses actually perform better financially if women are on the board. That's got supermarket retailer Morrison's thinking. Here at its headquarters in Yorkshire, just 13% of its senior managers are female, though it's pledged today to increase that to 30%. The problem is that many women find their careers put on hold when they become mothers. I took a few years off to raise my children, and I don't feel that I'm any less qualified than someone who had been working during that time, as long as I can prove that I have those capabilities to work at that level. Amy was lucky enough to come back at a senior level, but many women struggle to become executives, never mind board members. I asked Sir John Parker, one of Britain's most respected chairmen and part of the team that came up with today's recommendations, what he thought the problem was. Women suffer from what I would term the biological discount. They have to go off and do that very important job of bringing babies into the world and raising families. And that, to me, is one of the most important jobs in the world. And yet they suffer because of it. And they, they often suffer because the re-entry, when they decide to come back, um, I don't think we do enough to allow women an easy and practical re-entry mode. And we really should criticise ourselves for that, in my view. The plan is to monitor progress every six months, but this is a problem that's taken years to crack. So for now at least, the glass ceiling remains very much intact. Siobhan Kennedy, Channel 4 News in central London.